Hey, what's going on, everyone? Okay, so really quick, I've seen a lot going on today uh, regarding North Korea. If you guys remember a couple months back, President Trump and President, uh, not President, but Kim Jong Un, Rocket Man, they had a meeting and they were trying to denuclearize the peninsula. And everything was going good, you know, everything was going great. Um, well, recently come to find out that President Abe of Japan had a secret meeting with Kim Jong-un in Vietnam, I want to say about a month ago. Um, I'll post the link in the description here for you guys. And um, they didn't let the United States know about it. And that kind of upset, you know, high-ranked officials here in our government. Um, you know, with hopes of, you know, that we was bringing peace to the Korean Peninsula it might actually, in fact, have just been a strong arm. Um, that there may not be peace. It looks like that North Korea is not ready to give up their nuclear arsenal just yet. Um, and it doesn't look like President Trump's willing to, you know, budge on his decision. Um, so right now... Again, I'll post the links in the description. I'm not reading it right now. I'm just trying to summarize it for you guys. Um, General Mattis, Mad Dog Mattis, he's actually starting up the war games in the Korean Peninsula again with a massive show of force. Um, now, is this going to just let them know, to remind Kim that we're still there and we're still, you know, we're serious with what we talk about? Or is this just a bluff? Um, again, we also know that, you know, Japan went back behind President Trump's back and ended up um, having that secret meeting with Kim, and it was over spies. I think Japan had a few spies that went missing back in the 70s or something like that. All the details in the articles, you guys can read it. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, and at the same time, it, it blew my mind because I thought we was past that, but I guess not quite, not quite as much. All right, guys, there's also a lot going on in Syria, a lot of troop movement. There's a lot of speculations about another false flag coming. And as well as Russia's moving in a big Navy fleet with about 300,000 men, and they're committed to uh, take down a dib. Again, so there's a lot to pay attention to that's going on in the Middle East and on the other side of the world that I haven't touched base since I've been back with. But these are just some of the things that I pay attention to as well. All right, guys. Later.